I'll tell you, that was a thrill. We just finished testing the Ranger Z520 Comanche. And I, I tell you what, a great ride. Tournament battle wagon uh, bass boat. It's powered by Mercury's Pro XS 250, which gives us lots of power. We get on plane in 2.8 seconds with real moderate bow rise. You know, some bass boats are really stand up in the air, but this one, you still could uh, see the uh, horizon when you took off. And we got to 30 miles an hour in 6.5 seconds with a top speed of 73.2 miles an hour. We have a little bit of chop today, so it was a really thrilling ride, but I'll tell you what, trim it up a little bit and it just glides right over the top beautifully. Let's go back to the dock and take a look at the features of this boat. Hard landing bow rise. This thing really corners well, too. Some bass boats will really blow out a lot. We can really curve a nice tight turn with this. I'm going to try to keep my cameraman in the boat, though. Well, David, I know the uh, uh, Z520 Comanche is one of the most popular boats in the Ranger lineup. You guys found a way to make it even better, didn't you? Absolutely. The Z520 is a great boat. It handles well. It's, it's a superb fishing boat. But one of the great things that they've done this year is add even more height to the front deck. So if a guy is flipping, pitching, sight fishing, where he needs a little bit of extra elevation, then he's got that. And there's a lot of tournament guys that have really been excited about this particular innovation, or, or addition, I should say, to this particular boat. We've also added, as standard, a, uh, a receiver trolling motor pedal and when you're fishing all day and you've got that leg high up in the air if it's not recessed it's really uncomfortable it's, it, it bothers your back a lot of times so especially in rough water in places where you're trying to maneuver and stay out there a long time uh, that is a lot more comfortable and is really a, a great feature to have on a boat we've added uh, Minn Kota four tracks uh, to uh, this particular boat as standard and another thing when it comes to raising the deck on this boat this boat is full of storage, just absolutely full of storage. But believe it or not, with as much storage as it's got, when you raise that deck, you get even more capacity in this thing. You mean and, pros like storage? Oh, <laughs> you can't have enough storage equipment or right. storage facilities in these things. And when you look at this, this center rod box is, is huge, and it doubles as, as a tackle organizer as well as a rod storage. Every one of these rods has got an individual tube to protect it, keep it in good shape whenever you're out there on the water. Uh, uh, got an eight foot rod box on the port side. You got a seven six here in the center and another storage slash uh, smaller rod box on the starboard side. Well, that's almost enough, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I'll tell you, I know you made some enhancements on the helm. Let's take a look at that too. Okay. Well, David, I, I know a lot of these uh, improvements are might look small, but they really add up when you put them together, don't they? Oh, absolutely, and it, and it creates a total performance package that's unlike anything else on the water. It really is. If you, when, you, when you go to tournaments and you talk to fishermen, folks that actually do a lot of fishing, they'll tell you that there is no other design that even comes close to the Z520, and there's a lot of reasons why. That's not just advertising hype. That there's, there's reasons for that, and when you talk about small things, you can get to the very small things like stainless steel compression Locks. Looks like a small thing, but it's a trouble-free piece that you never have any challenges with. Looks good, works well. Things like these uh, these holes that are built into the what looks like uh, a lid is actually a step to help you get to the front deck. Those are built for pliers and, and other small uh, pieces that you would be using. Uh, you need very close to you, you need handy, but you need out of the way at the same time uh, when you're fishing. Uh, when you get to the uh, to the console, you look at this little indention here. Little things that have been thought about. That's a, what we call a rod slot. So when you've got your rods up here strapped down on the front deck, you need them right where you need them, when you need them, at the same time out of your way. You don't want them beating and scratching up your, your console. So we've got this little slot tucked in there. Right. Um, one of the greatest things about this particular console that they've done is you've got a lot more um, wind protection and weather protection with this console. You've got an enlarged area up here for the real popular uh, larger back mounted electronics that they have out today. A lot more leg room, just a tremendous cockpit for high performance fishing. What's the biggest uh, electronics you can put in there? 
uh, the HDS-8, I believe, would be probably the largest right That's now. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Quite an improvement over the yes. old mini ones that we used to have. <laughs> oh, yes. Now, David, I know you've improved the seats uh, quite a bit, too, haven't you? The SRS seats are one of the most popular features of these boats. Soft ride seating is what SRS stands for, and it truly is uh, a, a great seat to sit in. A lot of lumbar and, and lateral protection as well as leg uh, support uh, with these seats. Just a great, comfortable fit and ride with these seats. Uh, when you look at the center portion of these seats, uh, a really neat deal, you don't want to step on uh, the uh, the surface of these seats uh, with a Grammy shoe, so this folds down and gives you real good access to the rear deck. Nice. Well, let's talk about the rear deck. What do we have going on back here? Again, continuing with a ton of storage in this boat. Uh, a lot of uh, storage on either side of the live wells. Huge divided live well that has a, uh, uh, a, a pump out system with it. Also has an oxygenator with it to really help keep your fish alive and well and doing, doing well. Ranger has a long history being a very strong uh, conservation oriented company. And so you'll see that in a lot of these innovative features that are inside the wells and other places on the boat. Well, thanks, David, for showing me around. Thank Appreciate you very it. much.